what can I do in Yangon? It's almost 10 a.m. I didn't have the breakfast yet, so I guess I'll start with that. Of course you need to visit a tea house. There is no better place to try some local food. It's fried rice. So I'm having a fried rice. I should have had a moringa just for the video, but I don't really want a moringa after the fried rice. So I have here the fried rice. It comes with some vegetables. Looks like white cabbage and carrot and the uh, veg broth. This is the Burmese tea. It was amazing. You should not miss this. Shredekon Pagoda is famous for its long story as a Buddhist religious site. It is a well-preserved monument, but also one of the most sacred religious sites in Myanmar. Even if you don't come here, you will be able to see it from pretty much everywhere in Yangon. This was supposed to be the second thing, which is go on the train, but apparently it's just in one hour and a half. I'm not going to be waiting. Maybe I'll just take the bus. I'm on a budget today and uh, I'll just show you some B-rolls from the last time I came. The circular train is something that you should not miss. It's about 46 kilometers long, has 39 stations and connects towns and suburban areas to the city. I don't think I've ever been in a train where I could have the window open like this. By the way, there is no exceptions for doors. Every station that we stop has its unique story to tell. Just a friendly reminder, below this video is a button, make sure to use it to like this video. This is the heart of Yangon. All the roads will come here. So the pagoda is right in the center of Yangon, centered in this roundabout. I have never been inside. I'm not sure if there is much to see, but I think it's still a good place to visit, considering the localization. Bojok and Sun Market is known for its colonial architecture and its stone streets. The market is a major tourist destination, dominated by antique Burmese handicraft and jewelry shop, art galleries and clothing store. The market is also a popular black market location to exchange currency. Street food is something that you cannot escape. You'll find it in every corner. It's definitely worth it, especially if you are healthy. So what's this again? What is it? Nanji 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 is uh, like noodle. Nanji noodle. Yeah. That is Nanji, yeah. Uh, Tau means uh, salad. Yeah, you're gonna call it. I'm still learning how to hold this 
still practicing. How much is this dish? 1,500. The 19th street in Yangon is the main center of the city's Chinatown. It's also known for its barbecue, that you definitely should visit. Yep. This is what I'm having. That's fish, I think this is fish too, that's called eggs. Chicken with mushroom. I don't remember. Chicken blood. I'll be fun. Chicken feet and octopus. I think it's octopus. He said squid. I think it's octopus pentacles. So whatever you say that in English. I just realized that I'm almost at the end and still a little bit of things that I've not tried. And maybe I should try them. Maybe I shouldn't try them. Uh, let me show you something. Kandoji Park is beautiful, but it may be overrated. I came here only once, paid 500 chats to get in and a thousand chats for my camera. I guess I must come here again with more time. This is just the outside and it's huge. Wait until we go inside. Local market. There is no better place to buy fresh food at the best price and at the same time support the locals. All right, I'm inside now. This is mainly fish on this side. I need to find some vegetables and fruit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 